us at some point or another have had pride in us. Yeah. All of us have felt like, amen, we was better than somebody else. All right. We've had some form of pride in us. And I want you to notice something about pride here in the book of Proverbs. It is the first thing that is mentioned. God says that he hates. Now that's strong language, isn't it, for God? To say that he hates something. Look at the first three things that mentioned. Number one, a lying tongue, which is a, a liar. And number two, hands that shed innocent blood are a murderer. Yeah. So God hates pride before lying and even before murder. Yeah. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say pride is a serious thing. Pride is a serious thing. Pride is a serious thing. Now, we may ask the question, Pastor, what is pride? Because we don't want anyone to leave here today not knowing fully what pride is. Pride is when we overvalue ourselves and undervalue others. Let me repeat that. Pride is when we overvalue ourselves and when we undervalue others. So that means I'm way up here and then I got to put you way down here. Are y'all with me this morning? Amen. Pride is a thought of the heart that says that you are better than somebody else. Oh, amen. amen. We're overly convinced of our own self-importance. How many of you know, and I'm going to teach this thing to you, when you think too much of yourself, oh. when you think too highly of yourself, uh -huh. and how many of you know too much of anything is a sin? Yes, sir. Too much of anything is a sin. And I'm going to show you the catch in pride. When you get, when you think too much of yourself, it's too much of you and not enough God. Can I get a witness here? And this is a bad thing when you got too much. You heard, now this is how the world says, he's full of him. Yeah. Any of y'all ever heard that? Raise your hand if you heard that. Oh, he's full of himself. Uh, he's full of baloney and meat. I ain't going to say what some of the other things. <laughs> One of them start with an S and an end with a T. He's full of People say all of that because people hate pride when they see it in others. Can I get a witness here? But we ourselves have had pride in us. Can I get a witness here? All of us. Have had pride in you. Yeah. When you think you all that. And a bag of chips. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Wilkinson. When you think you all of that. And a bag of chips. How many of you know right now you ain't nothing? And I'm going to show it to you in scripture. You ain't nothing but dust. You was made out of the cheapest. Easiest thing, something dirty and filthy, something that if you blow it dust, you ain't even dirt, you dust. You see people get so carried away in fixing up the dust. They want the dust to smell good. They want the dust to look good. And I teach you something this morning. They want the dust to ride in a twenty or thirty thousand dollar car. They want the dust to ride to wear a four or five hundred dollar suit. All you are is dust. And what you think the preacher going to stand up here and say over you? He going to say, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. You're not made out of gold, baby. You're not made out of silver. You're not made out of bronze. Because you're made out of dust. Something that's cheap. Amen. Something that's weak and flimsy. And somebody said, well, Reverend, you tear me down. That's what I got to do this morning in order to be a young. I got to get you out of you and put more God into you. That's our problem. It's too much us and not enough God in us. 
Amen. Touch somebody and tell them it's tight, but it's right. Pride is when you lift yourself up and when you mash others down. And let me break this and bring it home to you and then we're going to start giving you scripture. Pride is when there's nothing wrong with you. But there's something wrong with everybody else. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You all right. Everything you do is all right. But there's something wrong with everybody else. Romans 3 and 23 say, all oh, has sinned. You can say what you want to. We're in the same boat. The whole world in the same boat. All the sin. And come short, ain't one can stand up and say, my dust a little cleaner than your dust. Dust, dust. is dust. Right. 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 Father can't talk about it all. Both of them is greedy. How many of y'all know that? Just raise your hand. If that hits you, say, ouch. We'll call you in and give you a milk bottle out the church, and we'll pet you and baby you so you won't run off. But butter and lard, both of them is grease. People of God, we've got to grow up in Christ. And I'm going to show you what pride is so destructive. It's one of the seven deadly sins. You know why? It's not deadly because uh, it's deadly because it will kill our spiritual life. Anything that God say he move away from or he reject, how you going to have God in you if God push away from you? Hey man, let's look at some things here. Now, pride, where does pride come from? Pride is developed in our heart by the enemy, by Satan. Satan whispers to us, and I want you to turn to Luke 6 and 45. Our first scripture for the day, Luke 6 and 45. Pride comes from our heart. And we're going to find out that the first sin was pride. And how Lucifer's heart was full of pride. But we want you to look at something in Luke. The sixth chapter and the 45th verse. Somebody can stand and read that for me. Luke 6, 45. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. Amen. For of the abundance of the heart is my speech. Amen. What's in your heart? It's going to come out your mouth. Haven't you heard people say, I'm better than that, or I'm better than so and so? Or I can do this, and they brag and boast about themselves. And the Bible says, whatever's in the heart is coming out of the mouth. Now, I want you to understand something about pride. It's a thing that God hates. Yeah. And because God hates it, we ought to hate it. Amen. Amen. We ought not to have anything to do with pride. Now, let's get technical here this morning. I got about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then we're going to get ready to close. We're not going to try to get all this in you today. Pride deals with our attitude about three people. It's our attitude about ourselves. It's our attitude about others. And it's our attitude about God. How we feel about ourselves, which I told you is when we overvalue ourselves. When we think we all of that in a bag of chips. Now let's show you what Philippians 2 and 3 says. Turn with me to Philippians, the second chapter. In the third verse, and we're dealing with our attitude about ourselves. And I'm going to show you what our attitude about ourselves, what it should be. 
Philippians, the second chapter, and the third verse. And most of us in the church, if we look